Which method provides the best long-term storage for your dry goods? Mylar or number 10 can? We're going to find out. Hey, Provident Preppers, I'm Kylene. And I'm Jonathan, and today we got an email from James Davis. He's concerned because they've got a lot of food in these Mylar bags, and there's some talk out on the internet about how these aren't going to last nearly as long as the number 10 cans. So, we've got some carrots from 1999 in here, and we've got some carrots from 1999 in here. 23 years, 23 years old. We're going to check it out and see what is going to look the best, smell the best, what has lasted better. Okay, now first of all, this isn't quite what James was talking about because he was talking about freeze-dried foods. I don't have any freeze-dried foods that are that old, so I don't have anything to compare. And quite frankly, I didn't know that I had anything this old, and so I was really excited when I went downstairs and found that I had both carrots and, um, both well, carrots in both a Mylar bag and a number 10 can. Both of these are from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Home Storage Center. And that is the cheapest place to buy dry goods. Um, I'll leave a link, we'll go online. We don't make anything at all. We're not affiliated with them, but, but it is a great place. Now, this is a seven mil Mylar bag. It's a high quality Mylar bag. Part of the problem with, um, I guess the, the, there was a YouTuber that did a comparison. I don't know who that was, but, um, it, a lot of it depends on the quality of the Mylar bag. And quite frankly, I'll tell you that a number 10 can is kind of like a time capsule, right? And anything's going to store and be safer in a number 10 can than it is in a Mylar bag. However, a Mylar bag is going to give you some pretty good protection as long as it's not punctured. The other thing is the quality of the food when it was packaged. Now with freeze dried foods, because we have a freeze dryer, so I'm freeze drying a lot of food now, I can tell you that um, how dry the food is before you put it in the bag and whether or not you've put an oxygen absorber in there can make all the difference. So you've got it, there's really tight quality control with that. I would assume what had happened with this gentleman is that the freeze dried food somehow wasn't packaged correctly. I don't know for sure, but we're gonna look at the dehydrated and see how it goes. So I'm gonna open these and he's gonna open those and we'll be right back. Hey, mine has an oxygen absorber in it, which is now kind of hard. Um, look at the color difference, actually. Okay, I'm looking at these and the color of the one in the number 10 can is actually brighter. Let's, we're gonna pour them in a glass bowl so that we can inspect them. I actually have not seen an oxygen absorber. Oh. So oh, these might have been nitrogen flushed, huh? either nitrogen flushed or CO2 flushed yeah. with a wand. So, so there you go. Okay, um, look at the difference here. Can you see a difference in these? Now, quite frankly, both of them look, hold on, let me smell it. Both of them look and smell fine. Smell this one. This one smells like, this one smells a little bit fresher. I don't know if how, to, how to describe that exactly. But you look at the coloring in here and you can see that the one in the Mylar bag has aged um, more. It, you definitely, I mean, it looks, it's still edible. It doesn't have an off smell and off, well, I haven't tasted it, but it doesn't look off. We, we probably should taste these. Okay, I was looking closer at these and stuff while he was heating up that water. Um, this one in the Mylar bag, nowhere near as good of quality. The one that's the carrots that are in here, the color is better. Oh, look at this. So these are so hard. And okay, these are within a month of each other, right? These are a month, these were March and these were April of the same year. So these are actually older than these. I don't know if you can tell when we're rehydrating them. These are really hard. They're not absorbing the water, but look at this one. That's, you wanna hold mm. on to that? Yeah, That's, they're definitely 
that's definitely absorbing the water better. It looks better. When I taste these, they're sweet. When I taste this, it's just hard. So I guess we have the answer to that question. At least a potential answer. Now, one of the things we have to consider is maybe some of those hold the, the mylar, if it gets handled a little rough, you can get a little pinhole in it that you probably can't even see, or you may be able to see if you look closely, but that kind of defeats that whole barrier purpose. Yeah, and this bag, um, it still had puff in it. Like I couldn't, it, it wouldn't flatten, right? So Right, so that one should have been, should have been fine. I tried to look there and see if I could see any pinholes looking at, a, you know, towards a light looking yeah. through there. I didn't see any, but obviously something has happened here that's... And it could just be the fact that this number 10 can, man, this is a great oxygen barrier, right? It doesn't let moisture in, it doesn't let oxygen in. Um, this just isn't gonna be as good of quality. Quite frankly, I'm a little bit surprised. Um, and I'm really glad that we have a lot of our food storage in Mylar, or, or not Mylar cans, but in number 10 cans. But we do use a lot of Mylar bags, but we tend to rotate through stuff. Um, and so yeah. most of the time you're not gonna find it this old, but this is definitely, and see now it's absorbing it, but it's still, it still just doesn't look as pretty. Yeah, this is a nice vibrant orange, and that's just kind of a brown. Which is kind of gonna be indicative of the nutrient content too, right? And that's why we have this food storage, especially the carrots, because that's in our food storage, that's our source of vitamin A to make sure that we have that. And um, so this is really interesting. So James, very good question. Thank you so much for um, getting me to go downstairs and look and see if I had any of these. And I think the chickens are definitely gonna get these carrots. Oh, and I should say on the bag, it says that it has a 10 year shelf life and we've obviously pushed it beyond the 10 years, but okay, there's a few things that we should mention. First of all, we've actually gone to an LDS home storage center and canned some of this food. These were probably the exact same product. And so um, it, I don't think it's gonna be a difference in the original product. Now, one of the reasons why Number 10 cans are, are significantly better, right? We've, we've established that. But one of the reasons why we would use Mylar at home is because you can't do this at home unless you have expensive equipment. And then you have to buy pallets of the number 10 cans and it's just not effective for people like us to do at home. However, you can totally do Mylar bags at home very easily. And so that's why that might be a good option. Just rotate it. Like, Rotate through it sooner and you'll be fine. The question of the day. Have you seen any difference in your storage goods between number 10 cans and Mylar bags? Or other kinds of packaging. How about or, buckets or... Yeah. What yeah. have you learned? Because we definitely are fans of the number 10 can, but that doesn't mean that we don't have a lot of food storage in other containers too. So I'm anxious to hear from you. Yeah, comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.